it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Lions and the Silver and Black. Next on Madden NFL 25. Well, even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. Now, Charles, you and I, we've done a lot of games together. It always seems like we're rehashing the same story. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. First carry now for David Montgomery. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. First down, Lions. Goff now looks to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. He's got it complete to Gibbs. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches, throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them in. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Here's Jack Fox now. And he'll take it just outside the 40. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. At the Lions, 49-yard line. Now Minshew. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. First carry now for Alexander Madison. Room here to run. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Looking to throw it, Minshew. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams from 17 yards out. And the Raiders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. 
The drive there only spanning three plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Here's gone. Rush coming, and he's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of... Bring up second down. Goff now looking to throw. That's caught. It's Sam Laporta. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Here's Goff. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Taken right around the 44. And just a net of 31 here, 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Minshew sets to throw. Devontae Adams, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devontae Adams. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone, so this will be blown dead. And they'll move it up to the 40. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. From the gun, here's Goff. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. Still first so down. what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all. So he tries to grab him here, and they still get caught. Now Goff. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Out of the gun, gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. 
And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. And his throw is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. It leads to second and 10. Here's Minshew. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Back to throw now on first down. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second and 10, Minshew. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So pass interference, the call is so tough Automatic as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch it. Doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Offense. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose, but you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure, because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. Well, time is of the essence. We breeze through halftime, and we are ready for the second half. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And yeah, that's incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Third and nine here. They'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by a feet to Melifonwu. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. After the interception, here's Goff. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Back to throw, Goff. Oh, he dropped it. 
They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> he's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that... And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Malcolm Kuntz gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. So out come the Raiders. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They'll set up to throw. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Second down and three. At the 47-yard line. Here's a give to Madison running right. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. He was run down at the 45 yard line. A two yard pickup brings up third and one. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. Back now in Las Vegas. What? It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Able to push his way through. And he's got this down to the 35. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. A gain of 10 yards. And the Raider first down. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He's taken down at the 33 yard line. Two yards on the Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. From the 33, here's a second and eight. Going to run with Madison again. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Out of the gun is Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 12-yard line. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Now a give to Madison. Fighting him off. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Coming up here looking for 3 yards to pick up the first. Brings up third and 3. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Harrison Bryant, a five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders had six to their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit-crushing, wasn't it? And now you can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there. And they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might 
just be over. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. A shotgun snap for Goff. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. To throw is gone. And the Raiders have got him. Malcolm Kuntz picks up his second sack of the afternoon. So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. And that is incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Here's Madison running on first down. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 22 yard line. Another carry now for Madison. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Oh, wait, hold everything. A timeout has been called. Seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. Well, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.